Hi. Um, I'm really annoyed because I already filmed today, all day, like, clips throughout the day, and they're all, like, fucked up, so, like, they're way too zoomed in. I filmed them, like, normal, but they're all like this. And, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but that is gonna fucking bug me for all my videos to be like this and then have one where it's, like, hella zoomed in. Pissed me off. So, I have to refilm it. Um, great. So, I started in bed in the morning. I got up really early, weighed myself. I'm 8 pounds from my low weight. I saw my dietitian. I filmed after that. I was bawling my eyes out because I had a chicken Caesar wrap. Me and my dietitian eat lunch together every time I see her. And that's what I had, and I had most of it. Um, and I felt like trash. Um, like because I couldn't count the calories. It didn't have the calories on it. And it really stressed me out. Um, and then our session was hard because, um, I mean, I was really, like, honest with her today. And I was telling her, like, dude, I'm, like, eight pounds from my low weight. And I'm really trying to get there. And when I get there, to be honest, I probably want to go lower because I've never been lower, <laughs> you know? Um, but she was telling me, like, I'm at really high risk for refeeding syndrome, um, because I'm probably going back to treatment. I mean, like, 99%. <laughs> so, basically 100%. So, pretty much I'm going back to treatment. <laughs> um, it... So, um, but, yeah, um, she was saying I'm at really high risk right now, um, like, I've done so much damage to my body that, like, I'm in the category where you only need to have one symptom, like, you know how there's always that bullshit ass criteria for things <laughs> like literally anything um the, there's like a chart a criteria chart for the risk of refeeding syndrome and there's a point on the chart where you you only need to be showing one symptom to be at high risk and that is where I am. Which honestly scared the fuck out of me. Like I've never been scared by a professional before. To be very real with you. I've been in treatment since I was 14. And in and out of treatment. Not in treatment consistently. In and out since I was 14. And I've literally never been scared. Like, I've been told that I could die or, like, have a seizure while I'm driving. And, like, you know, all this shit. And I never cared. I was like, whatever. It's not gonna happen to me. Um. But she said that and, like... I explained all the reasons why and I was like oh fuck like that's scary what have I done you know um plus I'm at a weight now where I am gonna go I'm gonna gain weight when I go to treatment like my body will not maintain here um 
I know the weight that it will maintain at because um, I've had periods of time where I was like eating healthily and exercising healthily and just like living a healthy life and each time my body went to this certain weight and stayed there like it literally would only budge like one or two pounds up and down but pretty much it was consistently this weight and so I know that's my set point weight but it is significantly higher than I am right now and I don't like that and I don't know if losing eight more pounds or more would help you know because I'm already gonna gain not that I have to because I'm technically a normal weight like if you put me on a BMI chart or something but for my body I'm not um, which sucks it sucks a lot um, sorry, that's my dog, being a whiny pants, um, but yeah, that was scary, and then of course, even though she scared the fuck out of me, what did I do? I still restricted like fuck today, that rap was all I had, um, and then... Um, I was informed like an hour ago that my ex received her package and that she didn't throw it away. So, shh, no, stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this. I'm really over it. I'm over this day. <laughs> Um, but anyway, oh fuck, I lost my train of thought so bad right now. Um, my ex got her package, didn't throw it away, and that's all I needed. I feel like she's been okay without me for a long, long time now, like a couple months, which, um, you know sucks but you know that means I have to move on too and it's hard and I don't know how to do it but sending that stuff in my goodbye letter was the start and um Yeah, it's hard. I, I will always love and miss her, so, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't really know when it'll get easier, but I, I'm hoping this will help me move on a little bit, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I said in this video the first time I freaking recorded it. I'm so mad. And so exhausted. Um, I see my doctor tomorrow, so wish me luck. <laughs> um, it's actually probably good that I had to refilm this because now it's six minutes shorter. But, <laughs> um, yeah. If you're watching this, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you are doing well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.